Hey, how's it going? This is Darren Gidman from GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you a little lick that uh, uses some sweet picking. Uh, so be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and uh, let's get close up and take a look at this. All right, so this lick could be played with a clean tone as well. Um, I just personally prefer uh, the sound of it with uh, distortion, but uh, you know you can go ahead and play it with a, with a clean tone as well. I also um, have my pickup selector uh, switched up to the neck pickup because um, for this kind of these types of licks, this is um, what I prefer for the for the tone. All right, so uh, starting off, where we have a, a D minor arpeggio. So this is uh, played with your uh, third finger on the 12th fret of the fourth string. And then your first finger is going to pick up the 10th fret of the uh, third, second, and first strings. But you don't want it to be, you don't want all those notes to ring out over the top of each other. So um, we want it to have a sound like that. So what I'm doing there is First of all, with my with my right hand, as I pick a string, as I pick the fourth string, I let the pick come to a rest on the third string. And then I pick the third string, I let it come to a rest on the second string. And then when I pick the second string, I let it come to a rest on the first string. So that way you get one long continuous downstroke instead of you want one continuous stroke like that. And then as I move my way up, when I go to the third string, I slightly release the pressure that I'm doing with my third finger. So that third, excuse me, so the fourth string, that note stops. And then I'm first fingers picking up the 10th fret of the third string. And when I go from there to the second string, I just kind of roll my finger down. So I pick up the second string. But the tip of my third or of my first finger is actually muting the third string. And then when I go from the second string to the first string, I do the same thing. I roll it a little bit farther. So that way it mutes that second string. Like that. Now, also you the lower strings that you're not playing are going to want to ring out and make all kinds of racket that you don't want to hear. So with the uh, with this part of my hand right here, I'm actually resting it on the lower strings so that way they just don't start vibrating and, and making noise on their own. All right, so after we, you're to hear, then you pick up the, uh, the twelfth fret of the first string with your third finger. So... And I do that as an upstroke. And then a hammer on to the 13th fret of the uh, first string with your fourth finger. So, And then while that note is still ringing, I slide that to the 15th fret. So. Whoops. And when I slide up to do that, I bring my first finger along and put it on the 12th fret of the first string at the same time that I, as I slide to the 15th fret, because I'm going to do a pull off from that 15 to the 12. So. And then now this is where we go into a, a different arpeggio and uh, start the, the sweeping of descending. So this arpeggio, if you, uh, except we're on the 15th fret of the first string with our fourth finger, the 12th fret of the first string with your first finger, and then to the 13th fret of the second string with your second finger, and then to the uh, 12th fret of the third string with your first finger. So if you, you know, if you look at those notes, it looks like a D chord, but in, but we're up on the uh, clear up here on the 12th and 13th fret. So up to that point, you do the pull off, then you go to this note, it's an upstroke. 
So I'm doing the same thing that I did before, except now as I'm going up, I let the pick come to a rest on that third string. And then when I go to the, uh, I place my finger, my first finger on the 12th fret of the third string and slightly release the pressure with my second finger. So that way the second string uh, mutes and do pick that note and let the pick come to a rest on the fourth string. So. And now I just ascend back up. So I go right back to the 13th fret of the second string as a downstroke letting the pick come to a rest on the first string to the 12th fret of the first string with my first finger and then do a hammer on to the 15th fret so and then while that's still ringing uh, I slide to the 17th fret and at the same time, bring my first finger from the 12th fret to the 13th fret. So your first finger moves up a half step, but your fourth finger moves up a whole step. And, and do a pull off from that 17 to 13. Now my second finger goes to the 15th fret of the second string as an upstroke, letting the, the pick come to a rest on the third string. And then to the 14th fret of the third string, is an upstroke with my first finger, letting the pick come to a rest on the fourth string. So. And then from there, I slide that, let, while that note's ringing, I slide to the 10th fret and then end with the 12th fret of the fourth string where you started. So the entire lick slowly. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, got something out of it. It's a, it's a, it's a cool lick. You know, it sounds cool. Uh, I think so anyway. Um, it's also good, just good practice for uh, doing these different arpeggio shapes and uh, working with your right hand on the sweet picking technique itself. And what's cool about this uh, lick is that it's, it's a movable shape. So. Um, you can change it wherever you want. So if, if you decide that maybe, you know, the reason that I chose to do it right here is because it's kind of a neutral spot. Um, any higher up, the frets become very close together and your, your arms up closer, you're a little more cramped. Uh, down lower, uh, the frets are farther apart and your arms kind of stretched out. So I, I feel that this is a good place to start, um, but you can, you can certainly move it around, you know, from... You can... You can move it around anywhere uh, that you, you know, that you would like, you know, to maybe move it into the key, you know, if you're, you know, playing over a jam track or something, then, you know, you can incorporate this, you know, lick, this lick into your solo or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, give the video a like, be sure to subscribe to the channel, you know, leave me a comment down below. Um, and until next time.